What's up, folks? Professor Pickles here. Today, we've got another mailroom opening, but a little bit different. You might have seen in the title. Um, I did receive a, uh, unfortunately, receive a fake card. Um, now, I did get my money back and everything, and we will actually be destroying the fake on this video. But, um, yeah, so, you know, you just something you got to look out for when you're dealing with uh, older cards. Now, this is not the fake, actually, but... This card will be going into my uh, Sliver Commander deck. This actually came in the same package as the fake card, but this one is uh, real. So, uh, yes, but we come right here. We'll get right into it. The Sarah Sanctum is uh, the fake today. Now, we do have a couple more packages we'll get into um, after this, but kind of going to show this off for a minute here. So, you may, you know, this, this actually does look pretty good. You know, it is a pretty good fake, but, you know, you can see it's got that super, super shiny... Uh, uh, texture on the back and everything. So here I do have a uh, a real Urza's card. I have a, a time spiral. Now you can you can just see from from the way the shine goes. Like this one is just obviously the one on the left is the fake. It's just so much shinier and everything like that. And even the color is like a tiny bit off. I mean, you can't really pick it up too much on the camera. But I think the the, the real one is definitely a little bit darker in color. But um, now, one thing here is this card actually does pass the bend test. I'll show you guys. So, you know, you've got to be a little bit more than that. If you're going to be buying older older cards that are worth a little bit more that are likely to be fakes, um, definitely want to invest in a jeweler's loop or something like that. But I will also show you, I have a kind of a crappy light, but if we take a look at the, uh, the time spiral here, now the light's not going to come through too much, but you you are able to see it. You can you can see the light going there, showing through the magic logo on the back, getting that blue through there. You can definitely see it down there on the bottom. Now, if we come over to the the Sarah Sanctum, you know, there's just like nothing at all coming through because it's got that black core in the middle. Um, so yeah, so it's you know kind of upsetting to get a card in the mail like this. But if you trade on a website or buy from somewhere where you have you know protections against these kind of things, then it's not really a big deal, and we get to take a fake out of circulation today. So um, we are going to go ahead and rip it right here. And there you go. It's that black core, as we suspected, right there in the middle. So there it is, folks. The fake card is no more. Now let's get into a few more packages here. I do also have, like, the scrub lend here that I received a while ago. Um... I'll go ahead and link that video up in the eye. I think that's my uh, How to Tell the Difference in a Fake and a Real Revised Dual Land, but applies to any kind of reserveless card. Same thing here. Um, but you can see this one's even, maybe even more shiny. I don't know, it's it's pretty close, but... Yeah, this one, this, this Sarah Sanctum was definitely a pretty good fake. Like, the only reason, you know, you can definitely feel it. Like, the texture is just really off compared to a uh, authentic magic card. It feels super waxy and kind of glossy. Um, but yeah, something you got to deal with. So let's move on here. We got a couple more packages to show off as long as well as this, uh, enlightened tutor. So here we have, I haven't even opened this one yet. A Thoughtseize. Now this will be going into my Esper control deck. That's if I can get out of the package. Alrighty. So a very iconic card that has come down a lot in price since it got reprinted in double masters. Moving right along here, another card that will be going into my Sliver Commander deck. Almost there. I'm so close to completing that deck. I just pretty much need like a few more fetch lands and um, a Sliver Legion, which is like 85 or so dollars. So not, ex excuse me, I got some like stomach stuff here. Um, Man, I got the hiccups. We got a Siphon Sliver here. Sorry about that, folks. Um, really good uh, Sliver from M14. Gives everybody lifelinks. So that will definitely be going into the deck. And then last but not least here, interesting packaging. I mean, it's hop loader shortage, so definitely, you know, make do with what you have. But we have another Thoughtseize to end the video today. Um, so yeah, not too long of a video, but uh, always interesting to see a fake card, especially one that is, you know, of pretty good quality. Like, the guy who sent me this one, I don't know if it's a guy, I shouldn't assume, but um, the person who sent me this card uh, didn't know it was a fake card. At least that's what they say, and I do believe them. I, I don't think they were out to get me or anything like that. Um, but yeah, you can see here, it's like the same color as this one, that black core in the middle there and everything. 
Um, so I'll be adding this to uh, my collection here of ripped cards that um, are fakes. And uh, yeah, but thanks for watching, folks. If you like what you see, check out some of the other videos on my channel. I will link some up in the eye in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. And please do consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, yeah, leaving a like and a comment below. I'm always open to answering any questions y'all may have. And uh, I actually would, would love to hear what you guys have to say about this. So thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.